Hey guys, uh, in this video we are going to go over uh, the setup in Notability and specifically talk about the organization of Notability. Their wording is uh, a little bit different. And um, so I am in the app. I am in Notability version 5.41. You can see that at the bottom here. And so I'm just going to exit this. And so you could see this is inside my Notability. You can see that on the left-hand side, we have our menu. Okay, I'm going to minimize all these. On the left-hand side, we have uh, All Notes is what I selected right now. We also have Unfiled Notes, so any notes that you do not put inside of a uh, subject is going to be in Unfiled. And then down below unfiled, I have all of my dividers. Okay. So the terminology is, is a little different here for notability. So um, the reason being, let me show you, if you were to add, you can see that we have a subject and a divider. So a subject, now underneath subject, it says subjects hold notes. Um, and then underneath divider, it says dividers group subjects. So a tip that I would use for our kids is for them to have their classes as dividers and their units as subjects. Okay. And they could think of notability itself as like their school binder. And then their divider is kind of like their, all their different tabs. And then their subjects are their units within those tabs. Okay, so I wish they were, I wish it showed divider up top and subject down at the bottom, but it doesn't, whatever, it's all good. Okay, so I've already created um, just a sample here of what a student's um, notability might look like. I have dividers, um, this techie one is my own, you can just kind of ignore that. Uh, but I have history, let me expand that. And I have two units inside there, Texas history and world history. I have math, and I have a unit on probabilities, science, a couple units there, ELA, a unit on poetry, and nothing under art right now. So if I wanted to add a divider or a unit, all I have to do is hit this plus sign at the top, and I can create whichever one I need. Um, let's say I want to create a divider for band, so I can store some band notes. Okay, hit done, there we go, and now I have a divider for band at the bottom. Um, let's say that I'm in my math class and we're doing a new unit on proportions. So I'm going to want to create a subject and title it Proportions. Done. Now, notice that proportions was placed at the bottom by default under band, uh, but I don't think we're learning about proportions in band. We could, but you know, probably going to learn it more in math. So I want to edit this. So on the top left-hand corner, I can click Edit, and then I can just drag it up to where it's underneath the math. Now, maybe I want all of my math. Uh, subjects, all my math units to be the same color. While I'm in this edit mode, I can hit this gear next to proportions and then on the left hand side I can select color and I can make the color the same as what it is for probabilities. Close that. Now they're both the same color and all is right in the world. Okay, so when I'm done editing, I click done on the top right hand, top left hand corner. And I can minimize all of my dividers to make it look nice and neat inside of here. If you wanted to delete a divider, let's say I want to delete band. Say I'm done playing French horn, so I'm going to delete this divider. And it's gone. Hit close. Hit done. And there we have it. So just a quick recap on the left hand side is our menu. 
the dividers should be their classes, and then the subjects should be units within those classes. All right, that's all for now.